Hello everybody, this is Charles Anderson. I'm just a guy from Goodwill, Oklahoma, and I've got a really great video game idea. I'm working on the Tone God Visual Edit, uh, Visual Editor, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, uh, really this post is, uh, I guess three things. Um, uh, okay, first thing, uh, the behavior. Yes, uh, I found a node setup that I think that I... Uh, kind of enjoy and uh, because it's like I don't have to show that or give anybody a clue that there's three other files because even me I had to actually uh, like what for the first like few months I had to wonder why this extra file dot form was there for you know making what was just a Java file to me, but you know, hey, that's the dot Java dot form thing, and and so I'm just gonna be out with it. Like, hey, there's also some other files <laughs> attached, and uh, um, so it's it's just a visual way of saying, okay, yes, these three fo files are in the same folder. It's just that they're considered to be part of uh, this you know file. This file controls these two, yeah, and uh, because and I'll just go back into the functionality uh, because I want uh, this to be the visual file where you know it stores uh, well source code, but you know this will actually be to the deployable when that comes around. But um, yeah, so this this source right here where where I'm going to uh, get my uh, lingo worked up, and then the template, the true template made, because this is just a, you know, sample template. Um, this this won't actually be seen because you know they'll be over here on the absolute window, you know, and they'll be like dragging stuff off of the palette and putting it on here, and and then uh, when they're done, you know, of course they'll be able to save along the way. When they're done, just go like this, and there will be commands say deploy, bam, wizard pops up, name your class, they name it, then bam, the the you know class dot Java shows up where uh, all they had to do is just drag some stuff out here, auto generated some Java, and bada boom, bada bing, uh, that's that much typing that they don't have to do. So I guess I guess. <laughs> Oddly enough, this tool would be handy for those, uh, what's it, those day gate, those, um, I guess they're called game, game jams? Yes, there we go, got the words right. Because, uh, yeah, honestly, the quicker you can pump out code, the better. So, I guess it's, uh, that would be a potential use for this, especially for the GUI section of something. Um, and... So, uh, that was really all that I was, wanted to say. So, that's the representation right there. And I'll be filling it in. Um, to get where I got with that, uh, derp -a derp -a derp. Yeah, I have stuff minimized. Uh, oh, yeah, Child Factory. So, yeah, I went with a file object centric uh, way of generating the nodes. So, if the files exist, makes the nodes for them. If it doesn't, doesn't uh, and um, so TGVE the TGVE file will be able to be either by itself or you know if it's getting ready to deploy you know then it'll have the other two associated so uh, at least you know the brothers and then when deploy hits then it sends out the stuff and and again this is like free mark uh, I'll be using a format you know using uh, the free marker set up and so that's why I, I, I've, I'll just be getting into that stuff here later but uh, second thing uh, I'm getting ready to do up because I have not overridden abstract node yet abstract node being the class that I'm using uh, I'm able to change its icon its name and this little thing over here which gives people a clue as to what this is <laughs> and um, but I, I, until I override, I won't have access to change the content in here. 
And uh, what else? What else? Oh, and right-click menus. Can't do right-click menus un unless you override and add that functionality in yourself. So, uh, okay. So that finishes up the first thing. Boom. There we go. Uh, the second thing was actually, so I started in on that line of research, found a great tutorial. Kudos, Gerchen and the crew. Uh, this is this is uh, great stuff here. Um, I actually just went in like, hey, property sheets, what is it, Google? Or, well, you know, how to work with it. And uh, found the NetBeans Node API, found that it was part of another tutorial. And, uh, hey, uh, the first of the tutorial just gives a really great definition of lookups. Uh, in a nutshell, lookups being like, okay, so you click something, and and guess what? You know, uh, it's the, the, the class instantiation right there that instantiation it, it's uh it's location you know it's it's the key <laughs> there's the lookup and guess what there you are this is what is active that's what a lookup means so uh you add your lookup listeners and when something else is focused on those who have the listeners like here who has a listener for any java file but not j30 files Scene Explorer has that for that, but uh, you know, hey, populates, and this one has the uh, lookup listener for well, pretty much anything in the tree for the property sheets and everything. So you see this change, this change, and hey, look, there it is for the icon. There's a little icon, and so and then of course even for top components and stuff, you know. Uh, notice when I click on package info Java, automatically the Explorer responds. Oh, hey, that's who has the focus right now. So that's that's lookup listeners in a nutshell, or the concept. And uh, this is one of the hilarious things because, yeah, you can look at code. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know exactly what it is. Now, what is it use used for? Commonly used for? Uh, that's that's one of the bigger things. So uh, lookup, great. Uh, not really on topic with that, <laughs> but that's a heads up, great, great uh, stuff. And this one is in this tutorial series uh, that they've got, and uh, the various things that you can do with nodes, how to uh, change the appearance of text even with some simple HTML formatting. Uh, also, uh, how to do the uh, right click uh, pop up menus and uh, you know how to do your property sheets and property sheet sets where you can have multiple tabs representing multiple properties so yes definitely um, start off uh, you can just net being selection management tutorial there you go that's uh that that's a really great series that i found so kudos geerton Ge <laughs> and crew uh, what was the third thing? Because uh, I remember the third thing being kind of off topic. Oh, yeah, I'm starting in on learning FreeMarker. So, hey, FreeMarker. Um, yeah, you can actually, uh, there's a function called uh, d -d 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 create from template. And so what what my files will be, will you know, they'll be the templatized <laughs> um versions and then once deploy is hit then you know class names filled in uh, where it's being deployed to you know the package that's all filled in automatically just like it does in templates and uh, a lot of the values that are in the TGVE file uh, specifically will be filled into this uh, template file so that's the whole idea for that um, and of course with the J3O that's that's a binary file and I'll just have to see how to um, properly write to it although I'm pretty sure that there's a, a class in there that 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 will give me the insight and then I'll just tap into it and say okay write write that node and all of the <laughs> GUI components that I've attached to it so that'd be nice uh, anyway that's uh, that's where I'm at I'll probably be not posting for a while because like I said uh, I'm going to wait until I have, I want to say I'll wait until I have both the property sheets and the right-click menus added, but uh, derp, 
honestly, with that one clue that I gave like this, I'll go ahead and do like a video on it because I'm also going to be uh, starting to mold the templates. And then once I get those done, then I can start playing with JMonkey Engine again because uh, this is this has been all NetBeans. But uh, you know, hey, I, I I really like I really like the a lot of the design considerations that NetBeans the NetBeans crew has put into it. So hey, kudos guys. All right, uh, that's it for my rant, my blog, whatever. It's it's December 14th. Oh, oh, I, I still need to get to sleep. All right, hey, you guys have a good one.